wrong. Is it working? Is this little thing here? Hello! <laughs> <laughs> it's two parts of living the dream. Erin's at school. Clayton and. Pippa! Pippa! So we have been approached by um, It's a Vloggers World to be in their spotlight feature, um, which we're really grateful for. Thank um, you. And we've got sent a bunch of questions um, just to answer and tell you guys a little bit about us and other random stuff. So let's get into it. Who are we? We are living the dream. Well, who are know. we? I don't know if we are living the dream, but... No, we're not. <laughs> that is a sarcastic living the dream. We're not. <laughs> it actually came from um, a delivery guy who used to deliver from a well-known courier company. And I used to say to him, how are you doing? And he used to go, living the dream. So that's how we got the name. And that's how we started using it. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, when did we establish the vlog? February last year. So February 2016. Coming up for the big one year. Yeah. What equipment do we use? We use a Canon G7X for all our videoing, and that's the only camera we've got at the minute. So, may upgrade in the future. Who knows? Um, what are your? What have been your personal highlights for 216? Personal highlights. Obviously, we had two trips to Florida. Yes. Which was the first one was one disastrous. Was, well, it wasn't disastrous, but it was. We had our trials that one. Um, the second one was brilliant, probably the best Florida holiday we've had so far, me personally, I think. Definitely. Um, the other highlight for me was Erin starting school, bless her. Mm -hmm. And she's done really well, she really settled in well, so yeah. That's mine, what about you? Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, we've been going to Florida since 2000, just the year 2000, and um, this Walt Disney World holiday we've just been on, which the vlogs are currently up now, and we'll put a link down below, other ones that is the holiday that you know, is the big plus for, for me and you, isn't it? Yeah, it was, it was a really good holiday. Awesome, awesome time. Lots of happy memories. Yeah, it was really good. So, yeah, that was a big highlight. Yeah, sorry I'm looking down, I'm looking at the questions. Yeah. Right, I don't want to make this an epic one, so let's just get through this. Get... So next question is, what are mm. your top five favourite theme parks? So, you go. All of Disney. All of it? All the, yeah. So There's four right there. Four, that's <laughs> for me, because I, I don't really particularly okay. like Universal Alliance or Adventure. Yeah. Um, and I think it's good, It's a, obviously it's a good theme park, Universal's really good. Yeah, cool. they are, but we haven't had the best experiences there. No. At, we have the curse of Universal. Yeah, we've either <laughs> been ill, where Erin got chicken pox in our two trips ago, yeah. or it's been raining, or, or... either of our kids... <laughs> I've had meltdowns. Yeah. The eldest one, like about five years when ago. When she was a teenager. She had a massive teenage drop. Yeah. She ended up crying in the. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, moving on. Um, the top, top, top fame, favorite one. What? Top favorite one for me is Epcot, definitely. Yeah. World Showcase, and then Magic Kingdom second, I think. Yeah. Um, third, Animal Kingdom. Fourth, Hollywood Studios. Fifth. Sea World. Sea World. Bit of a contentious one, but Sea World. Yeah. It's a big word. Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> Top five places to eat inside the theme parks. None. Well, we haven't really <laughs> no, done that. Joking. We're going to be doing a lot of that this time because we're on the dining plan. Um, but we have at Hollywood and Vine. That was nice. For kids, um, definitely. The Dole Whip place. What's it? The Tiki Bar? Tiki? I can't. Tiki, can tiki, tiki, something the, like they're that. They're probably shouting at you. Well, they, yeah. yeah so I'm sure people are saying, do you know that? But yeah, the Dole Whip place. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What else? We haven't really eaten in, have we? We always sort of eat off property, but this trip coming up, we'll be able to give you a top yeah. five. So, I mean... At the minute, we're it, a bit it's too, some not of it really for us, eating on Disney. Yeah, it's quite expensive. So, we've got the dining plan next trip, so we should be able to say, yeah, this place, this place, this place. So, um, yeah, so we'll, we'll skip that one. Yeah. What's your most anticipated ride attraction in 2017? We both said the same already. Yeah. Pan Pandora. Pandora World Land, whatever it's going to be. In Animal really Kingdom. Really looking forward to that. Looks pretty cool. It looks amazing. Did you see the video that's mm. up about it? It looks really good. Yeah, that's being... summer it's opening, isn't it? So we'll miss out. So we won't. Be interesting to see what it's like. So Yeah, hopefully they'll have some soft openings while they're there. Mm. Fingers and toes. 
If you could pick one theme park ride that currently does it, doesn't exist, what would it be and which park would you put it in? You had this like, light bulb moment. Seriously, like the Jimmy Fallon ride. I have no idea why they picked Jimmy Fallon. There must be <laughs> well, some. We don't even big... know, really know who he is, do well, we? He, he's like he's a, a big the US America, chat yeah. show guy. But why they decided to put that as a ride, I mean, there must be some kind of monetary thing going on. But they're missing a trick, um, Universal. They really should kind of, in my opinion, put in like a great movie style ride, like in Disney, in um, Hollywood Studios. But use all like the, their new tech, like the Spider-Man tech, the Transformers tech. So you've got like an interactive movie ride so they're going through all of their classic licensed movies so you could have like ghostbusters you could have back to the future again but make it all like now tech i mean what the heck with the jimmy fallon thing i just think oh, okay but whatever so that's my my thing that i would like to see and you no i agree agree i concur there you go and if you nick that idea universal you know, <laughs> Sorry, her first. yeah, you want, we want some yeah, royalties, <laughs> right? Which vloggers should you be checking out? This is a bit of a yeah, question because we don't want to pee anyone off it, no, because we watch of... so many, yeah, we do. But you know, the ones that we watch regularly is um, our good friends Mike and Frucker, Daycation Kingdom from yeah. Attractions Magazine. If you really want to watch, sort of check out a family that are living in Florida and Orlando and visit all the attractions, you should definitely check um, them out. We've we've met them, met. and they are exactly the same. They're, they're not fake. They're they're not putting off the camera. They're exactly how they are. Yeah, exactly. They're real lovely. We'll put a link down to their family. to all the people that we sort of recommend below. Yeah. Um, you've got people like Party of Two. Um, Spoonful of Sugar, The Gem Sessions, um, The Roche Vlog. The Roche Vlog. Um, they do a daily vlog in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just seeing other people's lives mm. and how they live. We all like looking. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of UK vloggers we follow as well. I mean, like I say, we don't want to pee anyone off, guys. It's just there's so many. It's yeah. just so many. Um, but yeah, that's who we follow and who you should be checking out, maybe. Um, what are your plans for 2017 for holidays? Yeah, well, we're going back to Florida in the end of April. Spoiler alert. I think everybody knows. Yeah. Um, anybody that follows us. Anyway. Um, we're sitting at French Quarter for a week, so we're staying on Disney property with a Disney dining plan, quick service, so it's going to be a totally different experience for Another us. one week trip. Yeah, another one week. So, yeah. So, yeah. There's one thing vloggers always say a lot on it, so there, or so yeah. Anyway, that's good. and that's another one. Anyway, so yeah. <laughs> so our 2017 <laughs> plans are that we are off in end. Golf. We are off in the end of April, beginning of May. Um, and that's us. That's the ten questions At the done. Uh, yeah. Is that it? There's 10 questions, oh. we're done. We're done with the questions. We just want to thank um, It's a Vlog as well for letting us be on their spotlight. For inviting us on, thank you. Appreciate that. Um, hope we haven't bored you too much. We try to keep it as uh, short as possible. We wanted to do a short and sweet one, didn't we? If Erin was here, it would have been an epic. It would have probably taken about a week yeah. to film. And we don't have the time because we are a family and we have a real life going on. So anyway, check out It's a Vlog as well. Check out us. Um, check out all the other YouTubers we watch below. I'm going to put a link below. Here. Links are below. And don't forget to, I hope I'm going to get this right, subscribe to Vloggers World. Anyway, we're done. We'll see you guys. See ya. Bye.